suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it that way. Did I mention thanks for taking these two on? Had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Be careful with those goons. These bounty hunters need to be dealt with. I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Take care, please. They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Which means I bet they're willing to talk. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Good luck out there.
No clue. You! Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? And just who the holy hell are you? See? I told you Kilman was gonna lead them to us. Should've slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen. Unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. See, that's where you're wrong. You're done, <laughs>
There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? Hmm. Not sure I like the implication. But I, I suppose I have to respect it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just, the situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here.
jump system down. Landing site locked. Take us in. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Good guess. It's pretty much exactly right. You didn't hear this from me, but things aren't going great. The Marshal could probably use a hand. You stay where I can see you, Marshal. Everyone stays in front of the building. You got me? If you make a move toward the building, the hostage dies. Here is a joke. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust, and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. 
Now please, stand back. Hmm. I wish I could say you were wrong, but I'm backed into a corner here. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Hey! You in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Answer the Shaw Gang's making fun of us all. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Sounds like you don't really give a damn. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? Am I supposed to be impressed? Oh, you want to be a hard ass, is that it? Well, I can be a hard ass too. We're staying as long as it takes. Nothing you say is gonna change my mind, so let's just move on. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are, and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Oh, hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean is simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Marshal might take us down, but we'll take down some of his on the way. I promise you that. Damn it. I didn't think of it that way. I know, I know. I'm not disagreeing with that. It's up to the Marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. They've got my girl. I heard every word. She gets hurt. She's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. Yeah, you're right. You gave those boys a chance, but now they have to lie in the bed they made. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages. And once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, 
I think he can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. Solomon Co. and you.
We owe you everything. Free Star Security! Amira Wolf at the Low House could really use someone helpful like you. After the job you did with the bank should be easy. You're coming with us. We'll be taking any contraband and stolen property you have on you. The Rock might have some work for someone like you. Sir, there's a bank robbery going on, right now. Nice work. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? That's... that's good to hear. Those people aren't just citizens of the Free Star Collective, they're like family. We all are. As for the Shaw Gang, we'll grieve for them too. Here. You've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Free Star Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. Shimon. Towers closed. Come back some other time. Hmm. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this little meeting. Rule number one. You're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two. You decide to get playful with that weapon, we're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? Suppose I can take that as a yes. Fine, head upstairs. This Lance is waiting for you. And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Now, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. Now, I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now. Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? Hmm. Well, I appreciate you putting yourself in harm's way like that. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? Well, 
I'm glad we lucked into someone with your skill set showing up when you did. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Now, was there anything else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? That's kind of you, but without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. Just do your business and move along. Take off, Captain.
I would have figured it this place is going to be something special someday. Still, there's a chance I might have misjudged some of the staff here. Just a small one. I hope uh, this construction crew's impressively efficient, now that they're actually working. Oh, until next time then. Always good to have you back again. Just happening through our neck of the woods, stranger? Nevin told me about your summons. Our uh, donor wasn't too hard on you, I hope. She can be a hammer when the situation requires, but this project holds a pretty special place in her heart, so I'm sure she was feeling grateful. Well, thanks to your little chat, our donor's doing everything she can to upend the various roadblocks in our way. We're in the process of vetting more security, looking at some additional and more agreeable contractors. Whatever gets this place closer to becoming a reality, opening still a ways off, but we'd be going nowhere if you hadn't wandered in. That makes two of us. Thank you again, love. For you, our doors will always be open. You know who I miss? My bunk. You think it's thinking about me? <laughs>